welcome. Welcome back to Artistic License, my Thursday stream where we do a little bit of whatever I want. And this week, Final Fantasy XIV. But before that, oh my gosh, welcome in Lunar. Welcome in Koneko. We know it's going to be a good Thursday stream. Koneko got a pizza today. All is right in the world. And oh my God, Lunar, you have a pizza heart emoji that is so cute. Oh my God. I love it. It's so you. Is that one of yours? Is that a new emoji for you? I know that moon heart's one of yours. I'm looking at it. Oh my God. Those are so cute, Lunar. The cookie heart and the pizza heart. Ah! Good Lunar emojis. I'm so, I'm so happy for you. I know you're going to start streaming again sometime in a few months, right? I feel like I saw an announcement in your Discord server about when you plan to come back to stream. Try to be there. Whatever that is. All right, so as you guys know, I like to start these off with a little quiz. December, December, okay, that'll be here before we know it, right? I know it seems far away now, but um, it'll be here before we know it. Smarts fan and a heart-shaped moons are a thing. Oh, well, in Lunar's world, the moon is definitely heart-shaped, I feel. Okay, guys, I like to start Thursday stream. A little personality quiz. You can take it with me. Here's the one we're doing this week. I'm putting a link in the chat. Which fairy tale archetype are you? We're going to find out. We're going to find out which fairy tale archetype. I don't know what archetypes are on this quiz, but I'm excited to find out. <laughs> okay, so <clears throat> I'm a little cold today. I'm considering putting on my hoodie. It's not cold outside. It's very hot outside. All right, pick an item to aid you on your quest. A dagger, small and inconspicuous, useful. Enemies or friends. I do need to keep my fingernails clean. Trusty cloak, warm, swooshy, and many pocketed. Oh. A sword. It's heavy, but I've worn it late. A ring from someone I love. Pewter, but polished to a fine. A loaf of bread. The crust is still hot. And a block of cheese tied up in a bit. A pair of comfortable, durable shoes. It's going to be a long journey. Handwritten letter with a royal seal. It's any door I might encounter. Okay. I have to go with the shoes because honestly, I spend a lot of time when I'm going to go on vacation thinking about like, do I need walking shoes or can I get away with just flip flops? A lot of times I bring, I bring walking shoes. Okay, pick a painting. We've got Salome, Belle Demson. I know how to say that. Um, let's go. I gotta go cloak. The others I can go in the cloak. It's not cheating. It's being creative. Go net go. Just because it has pockets doesn't mean your pockets are filled with things. Um, but having lots of pockets is easy. Okay. What is your giving love language? I.e., how do you show people your love? Okay. Um, or quality time given active touch, active speech. How much guilt do you experience on a daily basis? Wow. I don't have time for guilt. I have dishes to do. The dishes literally is one of my favorites. I genuinely do not believe I have anything to be guilty about. A healthy amount. I've been carrying this guilt with me for a very long time. If there's somewhere I can put it down. Oh, yeah. Um, I don't got time. I got time for that nonsense. Thoughts on cannibalism? What? What? No. Uh-uh. No. Bye. Does anyone love you? My opinion is the only one that matters, actually. Do they? No, but I've made my peace with it. My friends do. My lover does. I feel they wouldn't if they knew more about me. Yikes. My family tells me they do, but they have a funny way of showing it. Um, I would say my friends do. I definitely have friends that do. I'm trying to catch that pearly in the chat. There we go. Oh. Oh, I must have, we must have missed the first message. It didn't send for some reason. Okay, how often do you transgress the boundaries that govern the world you live in? Oh, I probably would more often if I got out more. Not often, but I've committed a few huge acts of transgression which haunt me. I live by a specific set of rules which I try to best remain loyal to regardless of what others think. Yeah, I know. I try very hard not to, frequently and extremely well. I live outside them. I live in the delicious gray area that keeps me safe and guarantees it. Word. Oh, I love that. Go with that and the title of a non-existent playlist. 
Jaunty Late Medieval Tunes Disco Edition. Red Army Choir Deep Cuts. Whale Song Samples. Do you have to let it? Songs I was into before they got popular. <laughs> Bagpipe Blues. Songs that felt like your brain under cool water. Songs I was into before they got popular. Sounds very hipster of me, but I vibe with that. <clears throat> you will betray the one you love. How? I promised to return to them as soon as my quest was done, but then another one came up and then another one, and then <laughs> I started loving someone else. That does not mean I've stopped loving them. I choose duty, honor, and position over them. I'm a coward. I don't know. Probably slit their throat and cook them into a delicious broth. Wow. I betrayed them the day we met, and one day they will find out our entire relationship is based on a lie. Yikes. I changed. Ooh. We're going to go with, I started loving someone else, but that doesn't mean I stopped. You know how this story ends. Oh, I got the long-suffering knight. Okay, you got the boy king. Oh, y'all both got the boy king. Okay, I'm going to read long-suffering knight, and then we'll read boy king. Lancelot is probably sadistic, or he would not have taken such a frightful care to be gentle. Rossi, curiously punitive to his own body. He denies it and slave drives it. Voted to honor, which he regards as keeping promises, and having a word, he tries to be consistent. Seriously tolerant of other people who do not follow his own standards. He is nor shocked by the lady who is naked as a needle, not without a sense of humor. It was a good joke dressing up as Kay, and he often says amusing things. Fond of being alone, humble about his athleticism, not false to modesty. Self-critical, aware of some big lack in himself. What is it? Subject to pity. No. Emotional, he is the only person Mallory mentions as being thankful motif. Highly strung, subject to nervous breakdown, yet practical. Ends by dealing with the Guinevere situation pretty well. He's a good man to have with you in a tight corner. Human, he firmly believes that for him, it's a choice between God and Guinevere, and he takes Guinevere. He says this is wrong and against my will, but I can't help it. Well, he was like Florence of Arabia, a nice captain of cricket, Arnell, Sir... William Raleigh, no, Sir W. Raleigh. Hamlet, me, Prince Ruffian, Monstros, Tony Ireland, or Von Sim, or whatever. Any madman, Adam, T.H. White. Torn between guilt and devotion, he represents the most Many of those are equal devotion to the lady, and one's liege is possible. He loves both, so he must lose both. Only in the story happy if he either refuses to indulge his temptation or leaves this world, either for heaven or the very return. Hey, that's really intense. Literally sharing a brain cell again. Yeah, you guys are. Okay, let's read your answer. You guys got Boy King. The Boy King. The Boy King has a huge burden placed on his shoulders with a dead father who perished in battle or was poisoned, a shrewd and scheming mother, an abundance of homicidal relations, and a nation to rule. He can either become a puppet or the most formidable ruler of a nation. That sounds like Kendra's playthrough. It sounds like Kendra's playthrough of um, Crusader Kings. Actually, if y'all aren't following Kendra, what are you doing? Let's um let's fix that right now. Here's a shout out for Kendra. This um thing is very her. Hello. Do you want to say hi to to everybody? I I don't have the camera with me, so there's no camera this week. Doesn't your computer have a camera? Yeah, the the camera's not very good, so I have a separate camera that I have sitting right here usually. Oh, the light up camera. And then, Hello, everybody. And then, like, House Bulgaria. This is no, oh, that I don't know why Bulgaria is way over there. That's a weird spot for it. We're in Italy. We're in Tuscany. Uh, there's the chat. Possessed. <laughs> yeah. Um. Some people can be possessed. It's fine. It's Karen Terry. Yeah. And Soggy Jane. Yes. OMG, mom. <laughs> they're very. <laughs> they're very friendly. High friendly <laughs> people. Yeah. I haven't seen a wolf killed in a long time on her streams either. So if it's happened, um, I have I have missed it. I have missed it. But I don't think it's actually happened. <clears throat> All right, it's time, you guys. Hear it? Hear it? Now you can see it. Here we go. All right, we are still monster hunting. This is our last area. We are still monster hunting here in the Omega Dungeon. All right, so we're trying to catch some more of several different Omega Dungeon monsters. 
I'm going to try to make my way to the back of it um, so that we can catch some more of those. Poroboros. I do need some more Poroboros. Okay. Um, I'm trying to remember. I think... Kimari? I think these guys, to kill them in three hits, I need to use, like, Kimari Walken. Or... Otherwise, they don't die fast enough to explode. Don't get any. So let me try to test that. Um... <clears throat> If I Kimari, Orin, and Waka, then they die. Let's find out. Yeah, it's been a minute since Kendra has streamed a lot. Okay, yes, that did get the trick. Um, but she she did stream this week. It was good. It was crazy. Awesome. <clears throat> so I know that she hasn't done a minute, but she is now. <sighs> oh yeah, it's good. I still got that fire on. So I need a bunch of these still. Well, this uh, this will actually get me down to where I only need two if I get all three. I need a bunch of Varunas. I need eight of those. I think I need to go. I think I need to go back in the um, later area of Omega. Fine. I don't think they're here. We're gonna make our way over there. <clears throat> All right, can I get this Roboros without it exploding and me not getting credit? Oh, dang it. Well, the first one, I got the first one. At least they don't really hurt since I have all that fireproof armor. <clears throat> Last area, hardest area of the game. So of course it's the hardest area to get the monster capture done. I know I have all those guys. Yeah, I didn't want to list. I just can't. I won't go so easy on you next time. <clears throat> you never have to fight the demonolith again. That was the right thing. Need to go back. Okay, do I need these guys? Oh, I do. Yes, I definitely need the two girls. And I need some floating death. Guys can't hurt me. Can't hurt me. I just say. Hell yeah. <clears throat> Love those kitties way too much. I know, right? Squirrels are the best. They are so cute. So the plan for the stream on Thursdays for the next little bit is we are going to try our best to um, finish all the optional content of Final Fantasy X. So I would like... Do I need more wraiths? No, I'm good on wraiths. Um, so I would like to show you guys all of the optional bosses, although I really haven't done much with them in my other playthroughs, but I know I can. I know I can. So once we get either finished with that or bored of that, of then... We will do something else. Okay, do I need guys? Okay, I need both of those black elements. I need it. Not sure. Oh. Terrible. That's terrible damage. Berserk. I guess it's fine. Yes, he can. Don't you know I'm No. Alright, that should be the last black element that we need. If we see another, we'll try to kill one more just to make sure. This will also confirm if this is last spirit that we need. Oh, yep, capture limit already reached. So. Oh! Pro Overdrive. Very cool. 
Yeah, so we're gonna try our best. Um, finish. Final Fantasy X. Optional content. And then I think we'll move on to something else. I know Koneko had requested that we um, play right Riven. So right now, what I'm doing off stream for some like prep stuff is I'm playing through Riven a few times, trying to like learn it really well because it is a puzzle game. And um, <laughs> I don't want to uh, just kind of flounder on stream and like go around in circles. I think that's really boring. Like I love puzzle games, but watching people play puzzle games where they're not very good at them <laughs> it can be kind of frustrating to watch um i like it if i feel like i can help them or if they have a good helper on the stream but if there's not a lot of viewers or like i'm i'm busy and i've kind of got them on in the background then of course i cannot do that so it's kind of like it's tricky right it's really tricky <laughs> um I wonder if we should let me armor break these guys maybe and then we can do more damage and then maybe we can you know do that uh oh Levi's enemy did I have to watch them. <clears throat> so I should have armor breaked again okay wait but let's try to get this gonna oh damn it I missed I missed him Oh no, this this video says cute fox. Should I watch it? Um, okay, armor break. Armor break. I guess I really should bring in Kamari. It just doesn't do enough damage. He's very fast, but he just. Doesn't... anything. Yay, captured one. All right. Gosh, it's okay. Go ahead and keep it. After this fight. Get it? Yeah, captured. Okay. Let me show you guys this cute little video. Look at this thing. This is a fennec fox. Oh my god, they're so cute. They're not like legal to have in most places, but some places you can have them as pets. And they're freaking adorable. They're so hyper though. They're so hyper. Almost as hyper as me. In go mode. Let me sign in. <gasps> Japan has the best vending machines. Y'all see? You'll see, they have vending machine for everything. Shaved ice vending machine, right? I want that. I want vending machine culture for the U.S. We should have that. You know, we should have that. All right, back. Next encounter. Try to get towards the back so we can get some more. Uh, more Poroboros. Okay, we only need two of those. I did. I missed a Pokemon again. Oh, no. I wasn't paying attention to it. Koneko, do you have it, the, the game activated so you can catch Pokemons? Oh, I meant to go look before stream to see what actual balls I had left on that little chat game, and I totally forgot. Because if I am going to catch one, I have to actually type in the ball, because I know I don't have any Pokeballs right now. Too complicated? Just, just exclamation Pokestart, that's all you have to do. Exclamation pokey. Oh, let's. Uh. Doesn't happen. That's right. This is 
You can just wait, Kimari. We're gonna armor break. I do have... I'll have a premier ball. I'm gonna pre-type this. Poke catch. Premier ball. Okay, now it's in there. The next Pokemon we see, I can get him. All right. Armor break you as well. Should be all the Poroboros I need. Right here. Kendra, thank you so much for coming and lurking. Really appreciate that. Um, if you are listening just a little bit before you start your lurk for real, he did a quiz today that is so you. I'm gonna link it again for you. If you get a chance to do that, tell us what you get. That is so Kendra, it's crazy. I definitely got that for a board. Oh, this one. Hey, that should be all the Poroboroses I need. <clears throat> should be all of them. Find out. I might have just. Hey, Maker. Don't do that. Don't hurt me. Baby, don't hurt me. Live and let live! So let's find out if this is the last black element. I think it is. Oh, why are they berserking everybody? Why are they berserking everybody? What the heck? Alright, let's do... Don't you dare! Holy fuck, everyone's berserked now. I'm gonna die. All that progress I just made is pointless. I'm gonna die. <laughs> Everything we've done today so far is pointless. I did. Well, at least I know that now. <laughs> but it don't matter. Ah, why I always die to trash. Why I always die to trash, you guys. I think that the Seymour battle in Mount Gagazette is the only one, only time I ever, like, really had issues with a boss. <laughs> okay, well, you know what? Let's do this. Let's go board airship. Now I need to go see how many thingies... How many of each of the guys I have left? So we're gonna go to Calm Lands and we're gonna check that out. So let's see. Today's quiz is very good. I took it in characters to my usual RP characters and both answers are really accurate. Oh, good. That's very promising for the quiz. Love that. I should take it in here. Yeah, let me ride one. Chris, hey, um, we don't have any. Here's what. Um, do you want me to go get go get one? They're not. I can go see if I can go get you a baby. Let me check the number. How many things I actually have? Oh sweet, turbo ethers. Um, 
want now. I'll go get you a baby. But let's see. I'm gonna fight monsters. So lucky. Alright. Floating death. Those black element we need. More of those. So much progress in the Poroboros and all of our progress is gone. That we're good on spirits, we're good on attacking a master cool. Those five monsters. Okay. My gosh. Basically, the Porobora progress was lost. Go back to Omega Dungeon. You're count. Counting on me, but I already won. I already won, Sid. You just don't know about it. Okay. <clears throat> Let me go get a baby. He immediately left. It didn't. It didn't work. I thought if I put him on the bed, he would stay, but he at least said, "No, nah, fam, I'm out." He's going back to stare out the window. That's where I found him. I interrupted his window. Okay, let's try again. Let's try again. I still need two black elements, and I will not try to fight an extra one this. Time. Those things are a bitch. They'll just berserk me and kill me. Dislike. You're not friends. And we can't get lucky with a bunch of Poroboros again. Getting these guys. Definitely don't need them. We're trying to make it to the back. Fight some Varunas, because we need a lot of those. Oh! Well, there's one. <laughs> there's a Varuna. All right, let's see. Why don't I ace on Orin? And then we can... No, I don't know why I always want to go to the wrong spot for that. We're going to armor break. I thought of an extremely cursed take earlier today. Tell me, tell me, tell me. What's the extremely cursed take? I need to know. What's it a curse take about? That was rude. That was rude, Slow. All he was doing was trying to kill you fast. <clears throat> Gosh, these things have too much HP. Stop it. There we go. There's one of them captured. <clears throat> Need seven more. Kill like you know, during our Pokemon Smasher pass, I passed on Clarion because it looks so little. I realized Clarion is the person who gets carded at the bar when they're in their 40s because they're small with baby face. <laughs> Oh, Neko, it's true. It's true. Clarion is like that person that's like, they're like, can I see your ID? And they're like, oh. <laughs> And the bouncer's like, yeah. <laughs> that's exactly, that's exactly what it's like. Oh my 
my gosh, stop missing, Titus. You're the one that's supposed to get those. The only reason I'm fighting this is because I need that floating death. Here we go. Monster just went, can't touch this. Yeah, he did. Darn it. I guess I can flee now. That will go so easy on you next Need time. them. Need the floating death. Oh, another Varuna. Okay. Well, you know, maybe starting over is it's okay. It again, I went to special. It's a skill. I guess that's fine. <clears throat> Magic hurts. I didn't think anything in here could be censored. I guess they can. At least he can. All right, another one of those. Oh, and there he got his overdrive mode again. That was nice. Oh, ha! -ha. I can do. I can try this. Yes, that's I, that's how you're supposed to do it. I think if you don't have a pokeball, we'll see if that works. I think it should. Okay, here we go. This is what we're going to do for this. I'm not even going to bother with them little lizards. There's no point. All we need is this loading. Then Titus can come back. Omega! That's right, we are in Omega Dungeon. Welcome in, Broken Bird. So happy to have you here. What, what brought you to the stream today? <laughs> All right. Let's flee. I will, so so I will tell you, um, since you're new, I will tell you a little bit about myself here um we stream on thursday evenings and on my thursday evening streams that's kind of like where i play video games um we do like fun uh things together stuff like that this is like kind of like whatever i feel like streaming that's thursday night all that artistic license and then on saturday um that's noon to two we have a show called interstage window that we do and that one is a little bit different so for that show it's more like a podcast more like um more like a um community thing so we do like media analysis and we'll do like um and we'll, or we'll do like community days like we play stardew valley together so basically the theme is saturdays is with friends and thursdays is by myself so if you're interested in um in like media analysis type of podcast i would definitely say turn to you're from Final Fantasy X, but it's T-Dus. <laughs> yeah, um, a lot of people say T-Dus. I know that's like how it's supposed to be pronounced, but whatever, I say Titus. Um, it is what it is. <laughs> um, oh, good. Yeah, Final Fantasy X. So we actually beat this game. We are on, like, you're on to post-game stuff. We are doing the monster capturing, trying to capture everything. And um, this is the last area. The last capturing area. And then we'll have captured 10 of every single monster in the game. Just crazy. All right, we only need the floating death. We don't need those other guys. Okay, and that should be the last floating death. All right, and let's run. Live and let live. 
love Final Fantasy X. It is my favorite Final Fantasy. Makes me cry. Makes me think. Makes me feel all the feels. Absolutely love it. <sighs> I'm here for the story when it comes to Final Fantasy. And hands down, Final Fantasy X is the best Final Fantasy. Um, do I need any? I'll be right back. I know where you are in this game so much. Yep. <laughs> yep. So I'm doing all that. Um, and then we've got all the celestial weapons. I need to do some farming and stuff so we can get uh, ribbon armor for some of our peeps. Um, um, and then we haven't fought any of the optional bosses yet. So, yeah. I'm gonna try to do that. On my playthroughs, normally I do not do optional bosses, but I think I'm gonna do it this time. I think I'm gonna. See how it goes. You need five Master Tonberry still, so we gotta get Karma. We're gonna have to get Karma up. Um. Never use ribbon. A lot of people don't, but like, I'm scared of the optional bosses. I've never done them, you know what I mean? <laughs> so I'm like, ah! <laughs> when I think about doing them, I'm thinking I should probably farm for at least a piece or two of ribbon armor. I know they're not needed. Like, you can beat them without. I mean, people beat this whole game, like the story and stuff, um, without even using the sphere grid. So like, you know. This game has been totally figured out. We'll know how to do everything. And I know it very, very well, but like, I don't know it like that. You know what I'm saying? I don't know it like that. <laughs> I use the sad I'm dying emoji. Ribbon is great, but make sure Riku's your number one. Yes. Uh, so I have heard. But gotta use the OP Riku. Her overdrive is OP, of course. I love Riku. Don't I have not used her very much for monster capturing, but she is awesome. Take that. Okay, he dead now. Bye, Master Tom. I'll took kind of a beat. We're good here. We're good here. Riku is definitely best meme. I'll be right Love her. Thank you so much for following, Broken Birds. I really appreciate it. Happy to have you here. Warren's my favorite character because he's such a disaster guy, but Riku's a very close second. I know what you mean, Koneko. The, um... <laughs> I, uh, I feel like Orin, for me, is very interesting, right? Because when you're playing it as a kid and you meet him, you're like, oh my god, how is he like this at 35, you know? And then, like, as you get older, <laughs> you realize why he like this at 35. Just saying. <laughs> I am now 35, and in many ways, I feel like Oren. Uh, and I feel like I would act like him if I was um, made to go on such an adventure. <laughs> I'll be right back. Lauren Broska and Jack are just disaster gays. It's true. You know what would be awesome? A prequel game of Oren Broska and Jack. Wouldn't that be amazing? I would play the heck out of that. I would love every second of it. I'm 37 and Oren is sugar daddy, but with weapons. True facts. True facts, bird. Love it. Okay, yes, I know. I was just getting him out of the way. All right, these are the last two cool girls we need, though. Ouch! That hurt, Kawiril. Why you do that? Why you captured? Be part of the zoo.
feel like I'm in the back, but like I'm not running into more Varunas. So I'm gonna go up here. There's a hardcore fan developing a sick prequel. Really? I'm out of that. I will play the heck out of that. You know what? Let's overdrive. Let's overdrive since he has. I love a prequel game. I wish, wonder what you're going to say to native voice. He's going to be just what I've seen on Impossible. But if they want to, but they can both be dorks. Jack is never the voice of reason. True, Jack is never the voice of reason. I feel like probably it's like um, Braska is the voice of reason in, in the three of them when Orin is younger. Because I think what the game implies is that Orin was a lot like um a lot closer to like um I don't know I guess closer to how Jekt felt but they also fought I don't know I just I would love to see it I feel like it would be so And I love their flashback scenes. I'm so I'm so sad that I really didn't set it up properly. To show you that one flashback from Besaid and like the dark um Balafor is blocking it now. But um I am gonna show you guys at some point. At some point we'll go fight Dark Balafor and uh and kill it. We have to because I have to show you that scene. We still didn't see that through the playthrough. Because the only way to see it on this version would have been to like backtrack at some point, like, way earlier in the game, and I just was not willing. I wasn't willing to do all that. And walk all the way back. You know what I mean? There's one more Jekt Spear we never saw in this place. It is a good scene. It is a good scene. <clears throat> have any kind of cure? Of course not. Next hit, probably. <clears throat> Next hit will probably kill him. Right, get up, Orin. Oh my gosh, Cookie, hey! Homeschool stuff with the kiddo. Well, good luck. I hope the kiddo does good on their assignments. How are you doing? Oh, that's another person besides Kendra. If y'all aren't following one tough cookie, what are you doing? Do a shout out. If you like my streams, you would definitely like um, Cookie's streams. She likes a lot of the same stuff that I like. Very chill vibes. Um, loves everybody. That sort of thing. There you go. Oh, you were Stick playing Gago Harry Potter. I mean, but he was there as soon as you said it, so he wasn't there when you thought he was there. I didn't see him leave. I, mean, I don't doubt that. I, it's, it's Sniper that's right here on this corner. Where is this guy out of me now? He's behind the tank right now. You can get behind the tank? I didn't even know that. Yeah. Be nice if there's an Easter egg, you can fire it. That'd be cool. Kind of We're coming ball. up the other oh, side. Oh, shit. I hear Lady Meow. Oh, my God. I'll be right back. Don't need any more of those. Those things are a disaster. Up, Riri. How you doing? Go on an adventure? Okay, there should be more Varunas back here. This was the whole goal, is to try to get back here so I can fight more Varunas. Oh, we don't need him. 
Uh, can I? I won't go so easy on you next time. First time you come down here. All right, so we've already been down here in the cutscene and stuff. We just haven't actually fought. No, not one of these bitches. Oh, an ambush of fucking course. Don't kill me, please. Don't let me lose my progress again. Whew, that was almost a disaster. Lego games are really good, by the way. I've played those. They're all, like, really fun and neat. Oh my god, another one. Eventually, I'm gonna get not so lucky. Have all my guys berserked or something. Like now. Die. You can do it, Titus. No, you can't. There goes all my progress again. <laughs> oh my word. I'm gonna have to do this off stream. I'm gonna have to do the monster capturing off stream. Literally just lost all my progress again. Damn. This was not so hard last stream. We made a lot of good progress. I might just have to monster capture off stream. <clears throat> okay. Come on. Oh, it auto-saved right here. <gasps> oh, lucky. I did not lose all my progress. Thank fuck. Okay. Yes. Thank God for auto-save. Thank God for auto-save. Okay. Let's go this way this time. We'll find some burrito. Oh my god, another one of these. <laughs> this is stupid. Oh, try to get it, Koneko. You can pokey start. Oh, I don't have a premier ball. What do I have? Do I have a great ball? Catch. Ball. Here we go. Oh, ha ha! Now preserve to you. Um, Faka. Yes, he can. That's fine. I don't need items. All right, you know. Um, here's one. Oh, and she's out of mana. Lovely. What do I have? Do I have an item? I have a few. Just kind of keeping a bingo card of my faves. I see pop up in chat. Oh, that makes sense. Oh, I don't need one of these. I thought there would be more Varunas down here. I guess it was kind of pointless to go back here because I was finding some of it. Coming into this little area was a waste. I could have sworn along here, like, for up on the Let's return from whence we came. Oh, black elements. Okay. Um, I'm definitely scared. Have armor break. Armor break. Have armor break. Yes. Armor break the other one. Alright, Yuna. Orin, and he can armor break the spirit. Okay, 
Now we're just gonna wail on them. We're just gonna absolutely wail on all of them. Destroy them. We do it. Do it. There we go. One down. Oh, sufferer. Okay, there we go. Got those guys. Um, come on, Yuna. Bring Titus back to life. Not black. What am I doing? Okay. There we go. Okay, so we don't have to fight those guys anymore. That's good. So we're down to needing Poroboroses. Of course, because we lost all of our Poroboro progress before. We need Master Ton Berries and we need Burning Place. There was a spot kind of back here where I feel like we got a couple of Varunas in a row. So maybe there's some good good spawn for Varunas if we just go back a little bit. Back here? That's not bad. I won't go so easy on you next time. I'll be right back. Hey, okay, Titus. See you later. So, um, we just finished the first season of this show. Um, it's kind of newer, but it's not like super new called Severance, go so easy on you next and um, for anybody that works in an office, I highly, highly recommend you watch this show. I'll give you kind of the synopsis, kind of how this show works. So essentially, in Severance, there is this company live called Lumos that has this new way that it does employment, and the new way that it does employment is called Severance, and you to, to get a job there, you go through this procedure where you sever your personality. You get a chip put in your head, and it creates this, like, work person and then a non-work person. So you, as a severed person, do not have any memories um, that cross over. So when you're at work, you only have your work memories. And when you're not at work, you only have your non-work memories. So it creates this whole, like, separate person that exists at work and only knows work. And it deals with a lot of questions of office ethics. It deals with um, the question of choice, like how much we really choose to do our jobs um, versus... You know, you need money to live, so you do a job, right? Um, and it's all about it's all about like exploring the self because these people don't have memories. At least the work version of the people don't have memories in the way that you and I do. Like they wake up at work and and that's all of their memories. That's all they know. So it's very very interesting. Um, if you work in an office or have ever worked in an office, I highly recommend it. Um, I watched it with my husband and both thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, he hasn't really worked in offices too much, but he still found a lot of, uh, value and interest in what they were saying, because of course, you know, 
a lot of the stuff that they're doing, although it riffs on office work specifically, it does apply to uh, plenty of other kinds of work. So, highly, highly recommend Severance. Excellent show. There is one season. It's on Apple TV. Um, another season is coming out, but not till 2023, so it's going to be a second. And I cannot wait for the next season. I'm like dying. I really, really want the next season so bad. <laughs> it was that good. It was that kind of show that when it ended and I realized that we had just watched the last episode, because I didn't realize that until the episode ended, that we had just watched the last episode. I was distraught. <laughs> I was distraught. Like, no, I thought there was one more. What? Really? Oh my gosh. It was like that. You know, it was like that. So Severance, if you haven't seen it, Live and let live. It's really, really good. Oh, we're not going up. I guess you don't need to be. You already got that tree. I'll be right back. Trying to find that Varuna spot. So that was like our our show that we were watching. Here we go. Um, another show I'll we've be been right watching. Back. This one has two seasons out right now. Um, well, the second season I think is almost over. It feels like it has a few more episodes left, but it doesn't come out every single. It, it didn't like come out all together. It's on um uh Peacock. I'll I think. Be right back. Anyway, it's called Girls Five Ever, and it's about this um. Girl, girl group, like Spice Girls kind of rip-off group, called Girls 5 Ever. And they were super popular in the late 90s and early 2000s. And, and now they're all in their like late 30s, early 40s. And they decide that um, they want to get back together. And so they they get back together, and they're making music again. And it's just, it's just absolutely hilarious. I'll be right back. If you liked... Um... <laughs> wow. Waka's a coward. Okay. If you like um, that type of music... You know that early 2000s girl group boy band type of music uh it is for you i swear I won't go so easy on you next girls time. five eva and there's a soundtrack to season one i can't wait until season two ends and we get the soundtrack for season two um because i thought it was the songs in season two have been excellent uh and i want to hear I the full so version <laughs> like season two has this one song called um bpe so it's like B, B, E, except for, you know, the vagina havers. <laughs> me and my husband go around singing it, and I can't wait for the full song so we can I sing the full so song. Because what you get, the pieces that you get in the show are so good. <laughs> and the first season has a bunch of good songs too, but I am very highly anticipating that particular song. I can't freaking I wait for so it. Easy on you next time. I can't freaking wait for it. You notice how when they're facing that way, and they run away. They run like into the rock and like fade into the rock. How do you phase into the rock like this? How do you do it? Live and let live. Do you take your friends inside the rock? We'll, we'll, we'll pay attention next time that camera angle comes up. Karen, I heard the phrase, but for vagina havers, and I'm so confused. Oh, Koneko. <laughs> do you want me to re explain so or do you want to sit time. in wonder and just watch the VOD later? <laughs> <laughs> we can go either way. I think it might be amusing just to wait. Oh, good, more Poroboros. We can have that. Okay, let's do. Oh no, let's get Orin in here. I'll watch the VOD. Okay. <laughs> Armor break. We're gonna armor break all these. Got the heavy hitters. We need four more Poroboros, so even if we manage to get all of these, we still have to, um, <clears throat> we still have to get find one more group of them. That's if we may, even if we manage to get all of these. They might, some of them might self destruct. I don't think he 
That's okay. <clears throat> the armor break that last. Yeah, you try, but you fail. Fail. Armor break the last one. We three for three on the Poroboros. Can we do it? Can we do it? I don't know if we can. I don't know if we can, but we're gonna try. Try to get all three of these. Oh, got one. At nine, 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 nine. Promising. <clears throat> Can't hurt me. Can't hurt me. There we go. Good. Oh yeah. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So we just need one more Poroboros, and then it's literally just Tonberries and Varunas. <laughs> we need. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. But I feel like when I ran along this little strip right here, I did pretty good finding the monsters that I wanted. I'm gonna do that. Alright. I'll be right back. Will not be back. You're a liar. Oh no. Bitch. And they always bad breath at first like that. Gosh dang it. Oh my god. Nerve racket. <clears throat> I won't go so easy on you next time. Come on, give me one more poor Boro Street. No! Don't give me these. Don't give me these. None of these. Dislike. Making me nervous. I'm gonna go back and save. Back to the save point. I will go so easy on you next time. <clears throat> oh, a tonberry. I need one of those. Okay. Let's you learn. They can't be armor broken. Yeah, he's in. Can't be armor broken. Oh, if you don't have any Pokeballs, Sparta Chris, you have to, um, Specify which ball it is that you're going to use. If you scroll down um, the about, you should see the little app thingy for it, and it'll um, show you what you've got in your inventory. I found out from this karma that he actually has not gotten like the killing blow very many <clears throat> things compared to some others. He can actually survive two karmas. Like one. Thousand and six. Thousand and six. <clears throat> Waka has eight thousand. That's a pretty big difference, huh? It's a pretty darn big difference. Twice as many.
Oh, almost. Walker's gonna come. I guess Orin gets to come back to life first. There we go. Bye, Tom Barry. We need three more of those. already captured enough of you for our zoo. Live and let live. I definitely feel like I'm gonna get down to only needing Varunas, which is exactly what I thought. Oh, there's one. <laughs> nice. Overdrive, though. He has enough. I did. I spoke it into existence. I don't remember the combo. I can do There we go. Thank you so much for the Howl Lunar. Thank you for the biddies with that. Always love the Howl. Hey, we're doing good ass damage. Dang, ouch. <laughs> Love that gif. Love that gif. Awesome. Walker, give me some crits. Give me some crits. Oh, thank you for the hydrate, Lunar. Thank you for the hydrate and the pump. Yeah. All right, got another Varuna. <clears throat> Definitely, let's go. See. Don't want to lose any more. Progress. Scarred from losing that progress earlier. I'll be right I got all my Poroboruses, <laughs> and then it was like, no. how long we've been in Omega Ruins with those ones. Let's do our Sphere Grid, too. Let's do our Sphere Grid. Can't hurt, right? Abilities. That's lots of stuff here. Over here. This is... Oh, this way. Farther down here. Yeah, I could definitely always use it. Uh oh. Nobody else has used it. But Orin doesn't want it. Why would Orin want that? Not in his nature. Magic. 
mean, we're at the point where, like, everybody's just gonna end up with every single one. Which is good. We want that. Then we can just play our characters based on their overdrives and aesthetics. <laughs> because then there won't be a huge difference. to make Titus faster. Do I have more level 4 keys? So I got, I've got two. I've gotten a few. that I had a bunch of level 3s. That's good, I can unlock those. I haven't been using her. That's okay, we'll get her leveled up later. Okay. Yes. Alright, save. Alright, let's try to get some more Varunas. They popped up right here, so maybe we've got like a, a section where they're in the very beginning. Oh, Poroboros, I need those. Those too. Okay. Let's armor break. Oh wait, I want... No, that's fine, that's fine. Armor break. Mari doesn't have armor break. He can help attack after I armor break. I only need one of these Poroboros. <clears throat> so I'll try to get this one. Scout, then we'll try the next one. Yay! Okay. That's the last of the Poroboroses. Away. We don't need no more. Okay, now it's literally just down to the ones that are hard to find. We just need to find Master Tonberries and Varunas. That's it. Then we will have everything. Right back. You guys think I have any chance of finding three Master Tonberries and five Varunas by the end of stream? You think there's any chance whatsoever? I will go so Let's, do easy the next time. Let's do a poll. Let's do a poll. A poll. Oh no, I want to do a prediction. Oh, that's more fun. Prediction. There we go. Oh, we're going to do a new one. Um, will I finish monster capturing? and no. Alright, start prediction. Okay, will I finish monster capturing this stream? Yes or no? What do y'all think? Run live. away. <laughs> so we need three Master Tonberries and five Varunas. Can we do it? Unlikely to me. But I don't know. Might I'll just right get back. really freaking lucky. I gonna predict. I gonna predict no for myself. Oh, it won't let me. It won't let the streamer do the prediction too. Well, I predict no. <laughs> Y'all can predict whatever you want. I'll be right back.
Oh, there's a Varuna. East up Orin. Up the Waka. Well, that's very rude. Very rude. How come when they cast death, like, it always works? But when I cast death, it, like, fails most of the time. Why is that? That's rude. Should not do that. Uh, thank you for the little heal. That was nice of you. Titus. I feel like it should work. I was gonna think, is it worth doing a um, overdrive on him? But it's not. You death and Orin again, bitch. Stop that. Yeah. All right, we need four Varunas now. Four Varunas and three Tondir. Gibbles are really cute, aren't they, Koneko? Oh, you got faith in me. You got faith in me. I like to look. What if? I think the pink was yes and the blue was no. Live and let live! <clears throat> Alright, I feel like they're popping up like right over here, this little area. That's what we're gonna try to get them. Oh, I hadn't seen any of him in here, right but that's back. okay, we already got all those. Got those inside sin. Don't need no more. Oh, yep, this is the spot. We found the Varuna spot. This, um,. Reloaded, of course. Waka, too. Why not? I know he might slow them, but that's okay. Regular speed. All right, bye, Varuna. Hey, we're at three and three now. I have counted. I won't go so easy on you next time. We gotta find a Tonberry spot. I always like to put the slow on Auron. He don't like Auron being fast. 
Opponent's regular speed or in percent. All right. Right by the save spears, you spawn at spawn of those little um, adamantoise little big <laughs> adamantoise turtles. Getting very close, you guys. We're getting very close. No, not you. I'll be right not back. you. Two more Varunas. Hi, Varuna. I don't want to. I want to add you to the new monster. Live and let live. The, it's implied that we breed the monster. You can fight infinite of the monster. Monster. No, run away. Live and let live. Don't want you. Don't want you. Babe. Don't want you. Oh, Tom Berries. Okay, we need a few more of those. There's no point in here. Actually, just yes, orange. Secure. Pop him off. <clears throat> Overdrive. Very bad at this. Ah ha! I said that, and then I got perfect. I almost never get perfect on the attack reels. I'll get like 221 or 211 or something. Oh shoot, I overkilled. I don't think that, and that doesn't capture it because I used a an overdrive. Oops. <laughs> My bad. I did not expect it to do that much damage. I know that attack reels is OP, but I never get like the 222. So like, I never see it <laughs> do it quite that crazy amount um so oops uh that was a problem I won't go so easy on you next time we're gonna have to find more ton berries gonna head out good luck capturing thank you so much Koneko and I appreciate your faith in me um for this prediction hopefully I do do it for you I will go so easy on you next time Get two more Varunas and three more Tonberries because I just screwed up that one Tonberry. Otherwise, it would be two and two. Because I'm silly. Well, we won't try to OP the Tonberry next time. We'll just attack it like regular. And then win. I will go so easy on Come on, next Varunas. Time. You are coming up good. We're coming up good. Yeah, Live but, but Waka, it's not what we want. That's to run. Don't need to. We don't need to just go for right fun. I know that might be cool for you. Not cool for me. Not gonna kill you. Here we go. I won't go so easy on you next time. I'll be right back. <clears throat> oh, what happened to the good Varuna Mojo? Back. Baby girl. Oh. I won't go so easy on you next time. But I believe. Thief. These are more the kind of mobs that I expect to find here at the entrance. Don't actually expect to find the bird. I will 
go so easy on you next time. Okay. Whatever you say. Oh my god, no. Thank god I kept saving. <laughs> we can out. Run away. Oh boy, no. No. I will be so glad when we're done with this capturing so I don't have to worry about those Malboros again. I'm gonna save because I'm scared now. So we're gonna come across a Malboro that takes us out. <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna save. I wonder if saving resets the seed, so maybe that's what happened. Like, this was a good Verbena spot, and then I saved, and it totally made it not a good Verbena spot anymore. Might have to try a different spot. I'll be right back. Yeah, let's, let's go. I won't go so easy on you next time. No lizards. I won't go so easy on you next time. Oh my gosh, I feel like I've seen about a hundred the little lizardy models. This. <laughs> they would berserk. They would berserk somebody. I'll be right we back. get to run away. So easy on you next time. Live and let live. You've been. I, like I won't go so easy on you next time. I'll be right back. I won't go so easy on you next time. It is 8 p.m. and it is still light outside, you guys. Summer gets crazy. It's gonna be like that for the next while. It's insane. Insane. Daylight savings time is so unnecessary. You do not need it to still be light at 8 p.m. It is unnecessary. Yet. I wish we would abolish daylight. Or like just pick one. Like if we always want to so be on daylight savings time, time, that's fine. Or if we always want to be on not daylight savings time, that's fine. 
And I think the changing back and forth is going to be that we do. <clears throat> will go so easy My understanding is that we literally have, like, you know, devastation that results from us doing this crazy daylight saving time thing. Sorry. Like, we literally lose millions, maybe billions of dollars, um, so easy on as well time. as endanger lives and, like, full, you know, literally certain statistics for death go up because of the exhaustion from people. So, just get live. rid of it. Everyone would love that. Everyone would love that. The world would be a better place. We'll go so easy on you next time. It really serves no purpose. You need light. Not need. need light. light. It makes it like so dark in the morning. Live. Silly. Ridiculous. At least for us, it's been raining almost every evening. I'll be right back. For a while now, so. Don't even get all the benefits of the light because it's dark and rainy. Dead. You know, instead of just being dark, it's dark and rainy. Uh, no, we're done with you, Poro Boros. We're done with you. I'll be right back. Oh, a Tonberry! Yay! Okay. Um. Guess we can. No, we're just gonna kill it regular. Kill it regular, Karen. Don't do anything fancy. Anything fancy. No need. Kill it just fine. If it's on the fancy, you might mess it up. His knife. His knife got all kind of like beautifulness in it. It fancy. Kendra, hey, how are you doing, my friend? Are you having a lovely evening? I hope you are. I hope you're having a lovely evening, and I hope Eliza is having a lovely evening. <clears throat> Slowly move forward. Very busy. Oh, I'm sorry. That's not fun. That's not fun in the evening. Are you still busy, or are you done? I hope I can say congratulations on being done with the busy. Still busy? Oh no. Dinner hour? Oh, I hope you're having something tasty for dinner. Hope you're having something delicious that's fun to eat. That you like. Avenger! Noonless. Noodles? If so, yes, yum. I love noodles. There we go. All right, we just need four more monsters. We need two Tomberries and two Varunas. <clears throat> We're going to try to do it. That's not Titus. Live and let live. I will go so easy on you next time. Just going to loop around this circle since we found a ton. That will be good. Go so easy on you next time. Stay tight. It won't be a next time. I will go 
oh so easy on you next time. There's a Tonberry. Okay, so this is a good spot. This is a good spot to find Tonberry, so we'll try to find our last two times. Sorry, Waka. Just how you have to fight. I'm sure you don't love dying over it. Any cheese? Oh, cheesy noodles. Oh. Something in the background for Eliza, right? Y'all, y'all. Um, Tom Berry has oh. appeared. <laughs> oh no. You guys have to see this. You guys have to see this. Hang on, hang on. You can't see him. Hang on. Look at this. Tom Berry. Tom Berry. Hey, Tom Berry. Shazai. Attack me. Karma. Dead. Hang, 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 hang. Hang, 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 hang. Guys, I got karma. I got karma. <laughs> How does this happen to me? <laughs> Yes, Kendra, he's a Tomberry and he karma'd me. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. How will I ever recover? <laughs> oh, thank you. I'll tell him you stand. <laughs> Levi, can you hear me? He can't hear me. He already walked away. I'll tell him later. <laughs> Bye, walk. <clears throat> That must be a good luck sign that we're gonna get very close or finish monster capturing. Make, we are still making good progress, so maybe Koneko was right. You know, Kendra, I have never seen an episode of Bluey. As an adult, what I think I would be interested in watching just one episode so I can know what the heck and heck all you moms are talking about with this Bluey show. Or would, I, would it be like really boring and not interesting for me. Yes? Say yes. Okay. Maybe I'll watch like an episode so I can at least know what the heck you guys are talking about and why I think it's such a good show. Okay, we just need one more Tonberry, you guys. You're not a tom. Okay. So maybe I will go so easy on you next time. So maybe this weekend I will watch an episode. So at least I have context when you guys awesome of a kid's show that it is. But I have no idea. But literally like every person I know that has like a toddler or like, you know, preschool, kindergarten, like that kind of age kid loves the fuck out of Bluey. Like Internet friends, will it work? Everybody, everybody thinks Bluey is like the be best right show back. since sliced cheese. Sliced cheese is in the show, whatever. Granny episode is silly. Budgie is good for some death emotional intelligence. Oh, that sounds intriguing. Live and let live. Bad I killed that other one the wrong way. Done with him. Oh no. Go away, bitch. Malboro, no breathing. Malboro, no breathing. Um. Hopefully. No, he can't. Oh, fuck yes. Thank God. Parents describe it as a show for parents that kids will watch with you. Those are always good, right? Those are always good. <clears throat> I'll give it a try, Kendra. I'll give it a try if I can remember to do it. But I can keep up. 
Because I feel left out. Like it happens. Right it happens on my, with my internet friends. People talk about it at work. Everybody thinks this show is like. Kendra, I have a show for you that you need to watch. It's on Peacock. Okay. It's called Girls Five Eva. Right you should watch it. You would like. The Claw is a good up. Okay. I'll try to look for that one. Granny's Budgie or Claw. I'll look for those. That won't go so easy text it to me. Time. I'll type it. It's like this. Girls Five Eva. Like that. Girls Five Eva. Like instead of four ever, it's five ever. I won't go so easy on you next time. Longer than forever. They're gonna be, they're gonna be famous um, three together, because that's more than two together. Oh, good! It's good. It's good, Kendra. Oh, here's another Varuna. Oh yeah. as well um levi and i have watched all the episodes that are out so far it's towards the end of the second season right now um and we we thoroughly enjoyed it we sing the songs it's awesome i think you would like it come on varuna there we go captured okay we just need one varuna and one tonberry In some heat. Let's do another loop. The loop. The loop. I'll be right back. Two more. One Tonberry, one Varuna. Hopefully I've counted right. That we'll go, go so back to the time. dude. Make sure that I did. Hopefully we can find them soon. We have 15 minutes, you guys. Ah ha ha! Hell yeah. Okay. Koneko is right. We're gonna do it. We just gotta find one more Tonberry. Come on, get him, guys. There we go. Okay. Feet. Tonberry. Tonberry. Come to me, Tonberry. go so easy on you next time. Okay, those other two tonberries we found were like up at this bend right here. Right past here. I won't go so easy on you next time. We're like right past this little bit. go 
was so easy on you next time. Whatever you say, Titus. Maybe I should just make my way back towards the safe. The chances of finding just one Tonberry on the way back, I feel like that's pretty high. That'll probably happen. Live and let live. No. You're too bad. Albro, no breathing. Albro, no breathing. Sufferer! <laughs> There's an overdrive for getting status effects. That's crazy. have one left like i would be so would mad so if i lost all that time. progress i would be so mad you gotta type in the name of the ball kendra if you don't have any pokeballs Yeah, it is rude. You have to like scroll down to see what kind of pokeballs you have. I'll be right back. Your inventory. <clears throat> I'm Tom Berry, just one more. Only back to the safe. Place. I'll be right back. Do it. Even us. No, no, not those. So scared that one's gonna get that one's gonna get me. I'm gonna berserk everybody. Or confuse everybody. Come on, take it back to the safe. There we go. I will go so well, I was wrong about time. finding a Tonberry on the way back, but. Make sure we do not lose progress. I won't go so easy on you next time. I won't go so easy on you next time. to be one somewhere. Oh watch, they're gonna they're gonna run into the into the wall like right up there. Watch. I'll be right back. And they just go into the rocks. <laughs> and they just go into the rocks. Crazy. What the heck? Are those rocks made out of water? You can just run into them? Don't need Varunas. Don't need. Live and let live. Just need a taunt bear. I'll be right back. So easy on you next time. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Nine minutes. We gotta find a Tonberry in nine minutes, you guys. Live and let live. I'll walk over here, Barry. I won't go so easy on you next time. 
so easy on you next time. So easy on you next time. <sighs> and I don't have a sense of like where things tend to hang out in Omega Dungeon, so right like back. little spots we found have been like totally recoveries. I usually don't, you know, do all of this post game stuff. Not religious. I'll be right back. <clears throat> If we catch that last Tonberry, then I will officially done more in this playthrough than any other Final Fantasy X playthroughs that I've ever done. I'll be right back. Get intense. I get intense. <gasps> Ooh. Come I'll on. be right back. Last one. Let me have this game. I'll be right back. Let me have this. I won't go so easy on you next time. We were finding be them right before. Back. What happened? Why all the tom berries dry up? I won't go so easy on you next time. So easy on you next time. Run into the rock. I'll be right back. I'm gonna run back to the save point. Find one, we find one. If we don't, we don't. But I wanna go to the dude and make sure so that on one time. Master Tonberry really is all we need. I'll be right back. Oh no, bitch. Oh no, bitch. You see, can't make me really lose progress if I die. Because <laughs> I save. I will go so easy on you next time. Very for me. So easy on you next time. <clears throat> All right. We did not quite finish. So, sorry, Koneko. I choose the outcome. The outcome was no. 
All right. Let's go to the man. Make sure that we're right and that we only need one more. I think that is correct. Let me ride one. Mega Dungeon. Not now. I understand. Captured every fiend. I do I was right picking you. Yes, I've captured one of every fiend, but I haven't quite captured ten of every fiend. Got one more. Yes. Oh! <gasps> I did capture enough Tawn Berries. My pr I was wrong! I was wrong with my prediction! Oh no. I feel really bad. I'm sorry, Koneko. You should have won some. Should have won some stuff. Should have won some channel points. I'm so sorry. Okay, I'll have to apologize to you later when I'm actually talking. We did it, you guys. Okay, we finished. We finished the monster arena. So, um, next time. Wait. What's... Oh. Um. All right. Sweet. Let's save. Ah. Um. No. I Okay. Save. I'm gonna save right here. Yes. All right. Thank you, Lunar. Thank you. Okay. We're gonna save. Let's go back to webcam only. Game. All right, you guys. Next time. Gosh. Next time on Artistic License, we're gonna be playing some more Final Fantasy X. We are going to go and um, try to farm up some ribbon armor and maybe fight some optional bosses. I do want to show you guys how to do the um, AP trick to like finish the sphere grid, some things like that. But like we've officially gotten farther in this playthrough than I ever have in Final Fantasy. Let's see how the optional bosses go. I'm really super not familiar with that part of the game. So you guys will get to see some of the things that I like don't know quite so well. Um, so we'll see how it goes, right? And then on Saturday for Interstage Window, we will be talking about Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. It's part one of our two-part Half-Blood Prince stream. First one next Saturday and the next one the Saturday after that. Um, I just put all my socials in the chat. I do things just like every other content creator does. Um, Twitter is my main social media. You can find me there. Please, if you're watching on YouTube, um, subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you're watching here on Twitch, please follow my Twitch. Um, you can support me by either subscribing to my Twitch, giving bits, or I've got a tip jar down below. You can find that there if you would like to uh, the stream. You can also join my Discord server if you like. We have a fun time in there. The reason to join the Discord server is to hang out with me and also because I can control the um, notifications there. So we can always make sure that we're getting our notifications, not rely on <laughs> Twitch or YouTube to do it, as you guys know. All right, let's see. What do we What do we want to watch? What do we want to watch? Let's go. Actually, um, we everybody that's like on my list that's online right now, we have raided into recently. So I'm gonna go check out some Final Fantasy X streamers and let's um let's raid into one of them. Okay. Oh. Someone is fighting a Unaleska right now. Um, let's go and watch that. Okay, here we go. Fabulous. Waiting for the <clears throat> for the commercial to go. And then we'll make sure that it looked good. The preview looked good. She has a cam and stuff. Says backseating aloud, but no spoilers. Oh, okay, so she doesn't really know what happened. You guys can um, go see. Okay, yes, this looks good. 
This looks good. She needs help, you guys. Let's go help her. There we go. Oh, it didn't work. Um, I spelled it wrong. Okay, let's try again. Trade. Aerial Fabulous. There we go. Did it right that time. All right, you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. Of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day. Bye, guys. See you later.